Hello everyone and welcome to this resource explaining to you what I mean by this little abbreviation RORO. Um, you'll notice that there are going to be lots of different students on here from various programmes and some that you haven't met before. So we'll spend some time getting to know each other and right throughout the duration of your time that you're on this module, please talk to each other either in our monthly meeting sessions or then asynchronously uh, when you get opportunities to sign into the Moodle site and chat with each other um, in the various forum zones. So the reason for this is because we have three different programmes. There's the MA in Healthcare Practice, two different start dates of students from the MSc Advanced Clinical Practice and um, students from the MSc Interprofessional Healthcare Simulation uh, uh, Programme. So lots of you on here and you've got different start times and different end dates. So this is what you should be expecting then from this uh, current resource now. It's going to give you information on how to access the whole of this module. So there are certain dates set when we will be meeting live whether that means live on camera or live in classrooms once we can when the safety of COVID has changed. Um, so we will be meeting on regular occasions. So those dates have already been set. But also you'll be accessing this module um, a lot of the time asynchronously. So pop in and out and especially with your different start dates, it might mean that you need to sort of hit the ground running with some of these. So for the MSc students, um, who are just starting their third year now, who did the research methods course with me back in their second year, by the time you start this, hopefully you've got your ethical approvals sorted and you're ready to get on with your study because your end date is going to be May of the following year. Whereas with the MA students and the apprentice students, um, you may be accessing the, mo the module, you can start accessing in September, but then our teaching may start a little bit later. And for the uh, interprofessional healthcare practice uh, uh, simulation students, you'll be starting in January. You will do your research methods course over two terms. So you'll start accessing this module as well, as and when you need to. And especially when it comes to sorting out what sort of project you're going to do, when you need to get ethical approval. So at least when your research methods course is finished, you can just pick up where you've left off with this and carry on for your end date, which is in the following January. Okay, so what you can all expect here is um, some instructions on how you can all do this so it takes away any confusion that you've got whatsoever, okay? Now, at the University of Greenwich, we've always had this long-standing tradition here of you said, we did. So if there's anything that you feel is missing or anything that you need more of, especially from me as your module leader, then inform me beforehand. Don't wait until the end of this uh, program or the end of the module and then give feedback and say, oh, I wish you had covered this, that, and the other, or um, it, it didn't help me on particular issues. You've got to say that up front. Okay, so give me lots of feedback on how this is going for you and especially if there's anything more you need. So it may be that you require new resources on this module or some of you may even appreciate a refresher from what you did on your research methods. Now some of you may still be able to access, you should all be able to access your original research methods module and um, for some of you that might have been some time ago. So I can put resources on this module for you. Just say, and I'll do my best to act on what you're saying. Okay? So I hope that you're going to enjoy this video.